hello everyone welcome back to we know what you like lucia here today on the channel we are watching young royal season two episode four i just watched episode three um yeah so what happened we ended the episode with william and uh felice making out and they were you know he was touching i personally thought it was a way for him to um not feel lonely. I'm not saying he doesn't like her, but I'm saying they would have meant more to her, potentially more than to him. In the grand, long, grand scheme of things, I mean. Um, so yeah. And then, um, but they didn't get further because uh, that one dude was like, hey! And he's like, ooh. And I'm like, you know, blessing in disguise. And then, um, we also had, uh, Sarah in August. Let's get it on. August is now the backup for, um, the crown prince, you know, for secession. And, um, yeah. And, um, and Ru Russo is getting sold. Um, um, what's his name? Simon told, um, William, that he and Marcus aren't dating, but he also saw them make, you know, kiss after the, the row incident. Simon is no longer on the row team because he quit. Yeah. And, um, lots of goodies, guys. Lots of goodies. Uh, remember, everyone, if you're watching this episode on YouTube, we're already done with season two on Patreon. Um, so if you want to get caught up with the rest of the season, you can. But also on Patreon is the uncut of this episode. It's the only place you'll find this uncut is on Patreon. Um, so yeah, just sync up your copy with my reaction watching this on Netflix, and yeah, all is Gucci, all is well. Uh, let's start right now. I mean, like, not naked. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it was a good day. I'm sleeping with Sarah, I'm the backup. <laughs> Alltså alla har hört en i någon sån här i amerikansk skit som Sverige börjat lida på det 50-talet. Okej, okay. okay, sorry. I'm undereducated. Det är en av Hillerskas äldsta traditioner. Och det började med att man skrev så här kärleksbrev. Och vi var på så här riktiga 1700-talsklädningar och peruker. Vi är det sjukaste. Vi kan inte som Maria Antonin fast på riktigt. Okay. That'll be a fun party. Men hon blev ju halvsugen. Han har slutat nöka hela tiden. Jag fattar inte. Men vad skriver man i brevet? Vadå? Vem ska I like you. It's really stupid. Mind your business! Oh, he didn't know. I remember your name. That still doesn't make it any of y'all's business. <laughs> Yes, so annoying. Marcus? Feeling jelly. I think you are, sir. She's gonna find out. Pratat med din mamma förresten om Rosso. Alltså jag är inte riktigt, alltså det har inte varit läge. Jag har haft annat att tänka på. Men vadå? Det var bara att säga att du inte vill sälja till dem. Men du vet ju hur hon kan vara ibland. Jag vill ta den när hon är på bra humör. Men alltså, jag, jag kan ta den med henne imorgon. Mm. Det blir jättebra. Jag hoppar. They're gonna sell the horse to those people. That's a loud shutter. Det hade varit skönt med en heads up. Om Felis. I mean, fatta att det känns jobbigt men det är också lite dubbelmoral. Det är inte jag som har gått och skaffat det. Du bara säger, du säger att det inte är någonting seriöst med henne och sen så går du skissar hon fram för mig. Fan, tror att det känns? We're jealous. I agree, William. Han vill att du ska träffa alla hans vänner och han gillar när jag sjunger. Det gör väl jag också. 
Han accepterar mig. Ibland så är det inte jag gör det eller. Det är du som inte kan acceptera min position, men fan jag är min familj. Nej. Jag kanske inte kan det. Det är som en weird dirty secret. När jag såg Simon och Marcus efter tävlingen så kändes det så kändes det jävla verkligt liksom. Han går vidare på riktigt. Och nu och nu nu sa han att, att de är ihop. Är du seriös nu? What about her? The rumors. Alltså hela skolan snackar skit om mig. Exactly. Jag försöker gifta mig in i kungafamiljen. Och du gjorde det för att alltså, göra Simon svartsjuk. Alltså, förstår du? No, he was feeling det? lonely. Det har varit en väldigt, väldigt fin vän. I just don't like you like that. Lite kär i dig. Bara för att du var prins. But this is so much better with that they're friends. Det faktiskt kan vara en bra grej. Vi sitter tillsammans nu så betyder inte att det är helt kört. Det känns som att det ska dö. Du är så in love with him. Okej, hon är fan att vi har någonting. I like him Loki. Like he's got um he's back, you know. High key. Är det okej eller? Oh my. Oh. Ja. Nej, det är inte bättre än vad jag har. Okej, eh jag viskar ditt namn om natten. Jag skriker ditt namn om dagen. Högt över husen det klinga. Why she wrote it? Why is she looking at her like that? Other than the fact that she wants to know it. Förblindad av annat på dagen. Dricker ni droger? Det är viktigt att ni är ärliga med mig nu. Yes. August? Nej, inget sånt. Jag är väldigt mån om min hälsa. Varför tar du ADHD-medicin om du inte har ADHD? Eh... Jag brukar inte göra det så mycket, det är bara när jag har stressed. massa plugg eller behöver prestera på topp. You're gonna have to perform at your best lead the rest of your life. Kan du gå om mig på balen? Va? Ja. När vi går tillsammans så kommer vi alla fatta. Jag får ta den. That yellow red thing. Oh, maybe she does like you. I thought she was just using him for his body. The um the royal family does. Okay. Well, okay. Cute. Okay. 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 I don't. I just really like William. He's in such a poor, such a tough situation. No, he is trying. <laughs> I'm not going with you after I'm going with uh, yeah, the girls. You could have told him that. You could have told him that before. Jesus Christ. Glad you changed your mind because I thought that was lame that you said no. You're my thing. I'm glad you changed. Mm, okay. No. It's sad. Why did that get me choked up? <laughs> You're gonna tell him about. Skydda Simon. Kan inte jag få en skydd? Men eh, fan, häng på så dansa sen. Hej. Vad var det där? Being Bara. friendly. Jag tyckte det kändes skumt va? I mean yeah it was, 100%. Ja, jag fattar. Du är inte kär i mig längre. Jag ska lämna dig i fred. He's still in love with you. Min kille verkar jättetrevlig. He's like, no, he gave up. Are you, are you ready to say goodbye? What's the problem? If you have a problem, you'll be able to do it. You'll hate me. I saw how it went for Simon with Wilhelm, but I can't think of it. I'm not Wilhelm, okay? I'm not. No, he's hurt. I mean, I under understandably, honestly. Oh, he's about to cry. 
Jag försöker bara gå vidare. Mökre. Yeah, but he had every right to. But he's still in love with you. Go do your performance. Go do this another day. You go break up with the Birkins first. Ugh. Yep, stole each other, huh? That's still it, yep. Go back inside! He's all like, yay! Don't go here now. What do you want? Don't go to the and some lips. Break up with him, please. Oh, he's gonna see uh, him down there. Y'all still have a lot to talk about, let's be honest here. Please tell Marcus! He's like, oh, yeah. I still oh, yeah. Oh. Ah! That's how I felt about that episode, especially the end bit. Listen, y'all, listen. What's gonna happen with Alexander and um, William, you know? What's gonna happen there? Ooh. After this, I'm gonna eat something, and then I'm gonna eat and then come back and record some other stuff. But I only have two more episodes to go. I don't know if I can watch the rest of them today. I have so much other stuff I have to do. Anyways, back to the episode. Um, I feel. <laughs> You know, on one hand, I'm I'm lucky happy that um, that August told um, Alexander that it was you know Wilhelm's idea to frame him basically, because now it's out in the air. You know, now it's known by Alexander at least. You know, um, I I I understand where. Um, Sada was coming from about being scared, unless they're, they're excuses, but also truth in them. But I personally felt like she should have given August the, the courtesy of being like, hey, I don't feel quite comfortable yet. And I understand maybe she didn't think it was as a big deal. Or maybe she thought she wanted to talk to him in person. I'm not quite sure. I forgot exactly the, what they said she has. Maybe if I look it up. Young Royals. What does Sarah have? That sounds weird. Autism and ADHD. Okay. Yeah, so like I can understand, you know, potentially, you know? No, I can understand. But. Yeah. I feel bad for August. You know, when he, he, whenever he gets angry, though, he lashes out and says things that he's going to regret later. And I'm like, that's a bad habit. Also, he's clearly lying to, I forgot his name, but the guy who works with the, for the royal family. Like, there's no, it's like, do you do drugs? Do you do alcohol? You know, all this and that. I'm like, yes, sir. Yes, you do. And, uh, <sighs> oh, excuse me. Really so spilled, I mean, he does. Um, which is still a drug. <laughs> when he doesn't have ADHD, I mean. And, um, yeah, I, um, I'm glad that they had that moment. Um, William and Sa Simone, I mean. Because I wanted them to get back together. Because, like, I, I think my favorite character, High Key, is, um, William. Like, I just... I just feel bad for the boy. <laughs> I'm like, like he, maybe it's the actor. He just conveys a lot of Abel, oh, what's his name? Edvin something. He's able to convey this, this feeling of keeping it all in and wanting to shout to the heavens and let it out, but he can't. He conveys it really well. And yeah. And like, I, again, I understand that it, Simone had every 
justification of wanting to move on. But, you know, sometimes you can't, can't put a stopper on death. I think that was a line in Harry Potter, actually, on, on love. But I get it. It hurts. And, um, but I feel bad for Marcus. Like, Marcus very well knew that Simon still had feelings for Woodham. Even though in the last episode, he's like, no, it's not because of Woodham. But I feel like he should have figured that, you know, that no was a yes in that case. Or maybe I was just assuming these people are, you know, somewhat bright. Um, I really like the conversation between um, Woodham and and uh, Felice. Yeah, that was great. I'm glad that I got patched up really fast because um, I do consider them better as friends. I think they're very great friends. And, I, you know, I wasn't trippy balls. I was kind of right um, that the reason why he was going and kissing um uh Felice is because he was lonely. But also he wanted to see if he felt that way towards her as he does with as he does with Simon. And to no avail it was a it was a it was a no. And um I'm I'm wondering how Felice will feel when she finds out about um August and Sarah, that'd be interesting. Also, the two friends, Frederica, and I don't remember the other one's name, but I'm like, oh, <laughs> that hurted my heart. It made me feel bad and sad. Anyways, that was uh, episode four, and I'll see y'all next time for episode five. Bye for now, though.